Hello everybody, Andrea here. Let's talk about why dental professionals are all of a sudden retiring. They're resigning, they're calling it quit. So not because it's time to retire necessarily, but they just don't wanna be a dental professional anymore. So I was talking to actual dental professionals that have decided to call it quits. The first reason seems to be what everybody says is they're not making enough money for what they have to do. So I kind of dug deeper in that. I kind of said, well, you knew how much money you'd be making when you got into this. Are you all of a sudden expecting to make $10 more per hour? And they're basically saying, no, they just feel like they're not being appreciated. And that always boils down to, okay, can I handle this? Um, with the amount of money I'm making, can I handle this? Or if I made $2 more per hour, would I be able to handle this? It, it always boils down to that. Or are you saying to yourself, okay, it doesn't matter how much money I'm making, I can't handle this anymore. So you might be wondering what is there to handle. So COVID related, let's talk about PPE. We now have to wear full on PPE. So we have to wear a gown, thicker masks that are a little bit difficult to breathe in, um, face shields in some cases, hair caps, all of that. So there's PPE to wear. PPE makes us hot, makes us sweat, okay? It happens. It's not as comfortable coming into work and wearing that all day. A lot of dental professionals are complaining about getting more headaches, probably because they have to wear a mask all day long and when they take it off for water breaks, lunch breaks, okay? That's still not enough time to really get, um, that air in properly. I don't know what the term is, but when I used to work in a dental office, I would have a good drink of water after every patient, maybe just because I was always thirsty, but that's what would happen. Whereas now we have to wear the mask at all times. We can't just take it off when we feel like it. If we do, that might expose us unnecessarily to airborne particles, right? So we can't do that. So we're more tired when we get home. We're more dehydrated. People don't realize that. Um, for a lot of offices, maybe you have to pay for your own PPE or maybe they're not supplying the right PPE. So you just don't feel comfortable working. I'm not talking about myself, you guys. I have my own business so I can do what I like. I make sure I have enough PPE. I make sure I take breaks, things like that but what dental professionals are telling me, this is their main concern. They can't always talk to their boss about what's bothering them. Um, like they're not getting enough breaks. They have to see twice as many patients to make that money back from what they lost before while wearing this full PPE. A lot of bosses are basically saying, yeah, you're gonna see more patients because we have to pay for this PPE that's more expensive. Um, so that can be very, very tricky for a dental professional. Um, all in all, whether it's COVID related or not, dental professionals are telling me they have to work harder, so much harder for the same amount of money, or in some cases, less money. I'm being told that some offices are telling them they're getting a pay decrease, whether it be a pay decrease, which is crazy, um, they're not getting the same hours, that it's just not worth it to them. Instead of full-time, they might be working part-time, but they go in dreading work every day. So they've decided enough is enough. A lot of dental professionals are looking now into other professions, not healthcare related at all. Another side of the coin is that people just simply don't feel safe. I've unfortunately had dental professionals say to me, you know, it has nothing to do with the job, with the money per se. I just don't feel safe. I want a job where I can work from home until this COVID situation is over, or I don't want a job where I'm dealing with public. I'm in the healthcare sector. I'm in people's mouths. I just simply don't want it. So that's why a lot of them are saying, no, I've had enough. They're looking into other employment. Have they been successful finding other employment? A lot of them say no, they have not, but they don't regret leaving the dental profession. A lot of them have said they might go back when COVID is over. Who knows when that's going to happen? So it might be a while. So that's why a lot of us are resigning, leaving. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've even had a few of them say they're sick and tired of our association. Um, they're our association, we have to pay um, a certain amount per year to be licensed and our fees have gone up. 
So don't quote me. I don't even remember how much I paid. I want to say $400, but we need to be a part of two different associations. One public um, that gives us insurance and things like that. Another one is for us. So like our membership. So we're paying, let's just say almost a thousand dollars a year to be licensed, including courses that we have to take all of these other things. Let's just say a ballpark. It's a little bit high there, but a thousand dollars. So a lot of them have said for what I'm paying this much money to work less, to have my safety potentially compromised to, I wasn't working three times, um, three months out of the year last year, yet I'm paying more fees. This makes no sense. So a, a lot of us are upset about that. So in case you guys were curious about why we are leaving, um, retiring, resigning, not me. As I mentioned, I have my own business. I do what I want, meaning if I need that PPE, I'm going to order the PPE for me, no questions asked. Um, I pay myself, so I can't really complain about money. <laughs> it, I get paid what I get paid. If I work more, I get paid more. If I work less, I work less. I take time off to make sure I don't get burnt out. I take breaks to make sure I'm hydrated properly. Um, all of that stuff. So it does help having your own business. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give me a like um, if you guys liked it, or I guess a dislike if you didn't like it, but I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, just move on. <laughs> and please make sure to subscribe because I am um, uploading more videos. Have a great weekend, you guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.